Hi everyone, welcome all for C Programming Aptitude Interview Questions Session 3. This is the first question, int main, int k is equal to 0, y, k less than or equal to 3, separated by comma, k equal to 0, comma, k less than 5, comma, k assigned for the 1, comma, k less than 2. And here I'm trying to print the C program and k gets incremented by 1. Okay, these are all the following options. Predict the output of this code. First option is C program prints infinite times. Second one is compile time error. Third one is C program prints two times. And the fourth option is C program will print one time. You can pause this video. You can predict the output of this code. We'll go for practical implementation of this code. If I execute this code, so it will print C program infinite times. Now I will explain about the logic of the program. First, k value is initialized to 0, 0 less than 3, condition is true. Here again, I'm assigning the 0 to the k variable. Okay. Then if it is false, also doesn't matter. We will go for the checking the next expression inside the while loop. 0 less than 5. Again, k is initialized to 1, true. 1 less than 2. This is true only. So that is the reason it is printing the C program. Okay. Then after that, k gets incremented by 1. Now its k value become 2 here. Again, 2 less than 3. Condition is true. Again, here I'm assigning 0 to k. Earlier value of k is 2. Now I'm assigning 0 to k. Okay. We'll go for the next expression. 0 less than true. Again, I'm here, I'm assigning 1 to the variable called k. Now, 1 less than 2. Again, it will print the C program. Again, k gets incremented by 1. It's keep on incrementing also here in this two position. Here, we are assigning the k value to the 0. Again, here, we are assigning to the k value to the 1. And the last expression, it matters over here. It's always for 1 less than 2 only. Every time, 1 less than 2. 1 less than 2. So that's the reason it will print a C program infinite times because of this expression. So this is the second question. Int main, int a is equal to decrement operator followed by the 10 and print it. I'm trying to print the value of a here. So these are all the following options, guys. First one is compile time error. The second one is nine. And the third one is runtime error. And the fourth one is 10. So you can pause this video. You can predict the output of this code. So if I run this code now, see, it will get the compile time error over here. So why? Because here decrement here I'm using the pre-decrement. You can use the decrement or increment. We cannot initialize with any value. I will repeat once again. You can use the decrement or else you can use the increment. Okay, we cannot initialize with any value. So that's the reason you are getting the compile time error. This is the next question, third question, int main, in d is equal to one, while loop, d post increment less than printf and followed by the c program and here inside the while loop i am trying to print the value of d so these are all the following options the first option is c program 2 c program 3 c program 4 c program 5 followed by the c program second option is c program 2 c program 3 c program 4 c program 5 and the third option is compile time error and the fourth option is runtime error now you can predict the output of this code now, if I run this code, so I will use I will I will execute this code. So this is the output. Now I will give the proper explanation for this. So initially d value is one. Okay, this is one less than. And first, it will print the C program. Just observe, C program gets printed for C program. And I will take the length of it. What is the length of it now? One, two, three, four, five. So now I just compare one less than five. One 
less than 5 condition become true and the d value become this is a post increment it's become 2 so it will print the 2 here i will repeat once again first it will print the c program then i will take the length of it 1 2 3 4 5 okay then now 1 less than 5 condition become true then the d value is post increment right so that is the reason d value gets incremented by 1 it's become 2 then 2 gets printed on the screen for the next iteration first c program gets printed 2 less than 5 it's become condition become true the d value become 3 and d value gets printed on the screen again it will print the c program the value of the d is 3 3 less than 5 and because of the post increment the value of the d become 4 4 get printed on the screen after that again c gets printed on the c c program then 4 less than 5 condition become true 5 gets printed on the screen then after that uh, d value is 5 and c program gets printed and 5 less than 5 condition become false then we are coming out of the while loop this is the explanation for the scope this is, the, this is the fourth question int mail int a okay for a is equal to 1 a less than or equal to 7 a plus plus if a value of the a is less than 4 continue keyword else break and print f c program gets printed so outside the for loop and trying to print the c plus plus these are all the following options c program followed by the c plus plus and the second option is c plus plus and the third option is no output and the fourth option is compile time error now if i execute this code final output is c plus plus gets printed on the screen now i will trace this code int a a is initialized to one one less than or equal to seven condition become true we'll get inside the value of the a is one one less than four when the continue keyword encounter it skips the subsequent statement followed by the continue and it is pointing to the incremental area of the for loop so that's the reason it will come back here the value of the a become 2 2 less than equal to 7 condition true 2 less than 4 condition become true continue keyword encounter again it skips the subsequent statement pointing to the incremental area now it's become 3 3 less than or equal to 7 condition true 3 less than or equal to 4 so 3 less than 4 continue keyword encounter again it is coming back to the incremental area it's become 4 4 less than 7 condition true then 4 less than 4 condition become false definitely it will go for the else part if it reaches the else part we are using the break keyword so when the break encounter it's come out of the for loop execution if it is come out from this so last statement C++ gets printed on the screen. This is the fifth question in domain printf percentage D 10.2 and these are all the following options 10 garbage value 10.2 followed by five zeros and the fourth option is compile and error predict the output of the score. If I'm trying to execute this code, now the garbage value gets printed on the screen. So why garbage value means here it represents the floating point, right? 10.2 and here percentage D indicates the integer. Suppose if I want to print 10.2 only, try to use percentage EF. So then your desired output will be displayed on the screen. If I use a D over here, so we will get the garbage value. Keep practicing well. See you in my next session. Thank you.